Okay, so in today's math lesson, uh, we're doing more division. A whole lot of division, actually, and we're using, it looks like, uh, double-digit uh, divisors and four-digit uh, dividends, and it looks like we might actually get some triple-digit quotients, and that's cool stuff. So let's take a look at here. I'm going to uh, work problem C, and we're going to uh, be estimating. We're going to be solving and we're going to be checking. This gets interesting here. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my 28. I'll set up the problem into my 6, 6, 9, 1. And I'll start dividing. Watch the estimation here. This gets neat. A lot of decomposition going on here. A lot of place value stuff. Here we go. So we have 28 into 6. That's going to go 0 times. Or 6 thousands here. Um, then I'm going to try going 28 into 66, but that's not really 66, it's really 66 hundreds. Okay, and we kind of have to think about it that way, especially when we, we begin our estimation. And so watch how this works. This is kind of neat. So here we go. We're going to begin our estimation. The 28, I'm going to round to 30. Uh, that's my divisor, my 66 or my 66 hundreds. And I'm going to round that to an even 60, but it's 60 hundreds. There is no 66 in that number. Uh, it's 66 hundreds. Uh, and when we divide, we wind up with two hundreds. And this works out well for the kids, especially when we're trying to decide, or the kids are trying to decide where to put their quotient, the digit for their quotient, where to put it up top in the problem. And it works out pretty well. Watch how this works. So here's my two. There's my target for multiplying using the 28. But it's not just two. It's two hundreds. So I'm taking 28 and multiplying that by 200s. I wind up with a 6 here, a 1 here, and a 5 over here, which is 5600s. Okay, I'm going to use that. Now check this out. So this is the 2 in the hundreds place. Notice where I'm putting that 2. It's 2 in the hundreds place, 2 hundreds. Oftentimes kids put the digit in the wrong place uh, within the algorithm, but, uh, but working a problem this way, that becomes a, a pretty difficult task to put a number in, the, in an improper place proper spot so it works out pretty well here's that 5600 the 56 hundreds notice it's in the 56 hundreds area and I subtract I get 10 or 10 hundreds I bring down my next value my 9 or my 9 tens and I divide again so my 28 into my 109 but again it's not 109 it's 109 tens and I'll set up a brand new estimation problem 30 remains 109 or 109 tens divide by 30, it'll become an even 90 tens. Okay. And I wind up with three tens. And there's my target. My three, my three tens. And on the side, somewhere else, I'll take my 28. And I'll multiply by my three tens. And there's a 24. Three times two gives me six plus two. That gives me eight. So 84 tens. Now, if I'm not really sure if that works, I'll I'll work another one. I'll take my 28 here, and I'll multiply by 4 tens just to be safe. See how that works out. That's a 32. It's an 8, 9, 10, 11. That works out to be 112 tens. Too high. So I'm going to stick with my 3 tens. Notice where I'm putting that 3? Right in the tens place. It's 3 tens. 84, or 84 tens was my, uh, my product there. And I'll subtract. I'll get 25. Okay, I'll bring down the 1, 251, new estimate, right over here. I need a target here, so I'm going to divide by 30 again. I have 251, but it is 251 ones. I don't have to worry about all that place value stuff. And I'll turn this into 240, so I can divide by 30 nicely. And I wind up with 8, or 8 ones. Now I need to multiply that, so I'll find some room up here, so... 28 times 8, and then we got a 64 here, but that's 6 right there. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and let's see, let me do my, uh, let me work a 28 times 9 just in case. So that's a 72, it's an 18, 18 plus uh, 7, that's a 25, so 252, ooh, that was close, but just too high. So we're going to go with the 8. 8 in the 1's place for 224. 
and I'll subtract. Go borrow there. And that's a 7. All right, and that's a 2. So I get a remainder of 27. A whole lot of work going on here. Now for my check, I need to take my, my quotient, my 238, and I'm going to multiply that by my divisor. Okay, and then I'll add my, my remainder eventually, so 64 here. So that's uh, 24, 24 plus 6 gives me an even 30. There we go. So 8 times 2, 16, 17, 18, 19. And we're doing pretty well here. Okay, so 2 times 8 gives me 16. 2 times 3, 6 plus 1. That gives me a 7. And a 2 times 2 gives me a 4. And I have a 4, a 6, a 16, a 6. Let me put a little comma. And the only other thing I have to do now is take this and add my remainder. And let's see, I have an 11. And I have a 9. And another 6, and another 6, so a comma. Let me check that with my original dividend. Here we go. Checkmate. Great job. Okay, folks, so that's the deal. Good luck. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.